Um, G, um. Actually, uh, you said three quarters of um, G, um, right? Three quarters of um, G, um. We're missing Chopsy Gott and our musician, Luke. So really, three fifths. Three fifths, yeah. <laughs> um, so who is here? I'm Susan Bose. Todd Phillips. And Suzanne Schreck. Welcome. Thank you. And um, G, is 47 years old now? Basically. Um, <laughs> I think 21. Is that true, 21? 21, 21 years, yeah. although we haven't been in it the 21 years. Suzanne's been in it the longest, right? But not 21 years. They were going strong for five years before I joined them. So but 16 years, 13 years, 13 years. And we're here to plug the Improv Festival. Okay. What is the Improv Festival? <laughs> no, they're testicles. <laughs> the Improv Festival is a festival that takes place at the Actors Theater, where lots of different improv troops, a lot of them local, and then a lot of them from out of town, too. They come for four or five weeks and basically put on shows. Is it any good? It's great. It's amazing. I just saw an awesome duo last weekend from L.A. Um, one of the guys had played with Stephen Colbert before, so we're talking some really good improv here. And then, you know, there's local improv, which hopefully will be good, or if it's not, it doesn't matter, because it's improv, and you guys will have a blast. So um, we, like he said, have been going for 21 years altogether, and the festival itself has been going, I think this is the seventh or eighth year, so a pretty long time now. And is the festival the benefit for the Actors Theater? Is that true? Uh, it, just say it is. We well, uh, it is. It's that Actors Theater has a hard time renting the yes. theater during July which is why the whole oh, thing started. They didn't have the theater booked, so actually Susan was there when it happened. So and you guys are kind of the default. We can't well, get a tenant. They have an improv festival. You know, there's so yeah. many improv troops, so it's a way to fill the They'll pay and, for it. Yeah. What do they know? Exactly. And, and it's been fun. And it goes on every weekend through the middle of August? I think through the 14th of August. Usually most Fridays and Saturday nights, but if you want more information, you can look on the Actors Theater website, and they have all the different troops and all the times, and there's cool. workshops as well, so definitely look at those, too. Well, you don't have to work, right? Yeah, you don't have to work. You just go to play. All right, so what are we going to do? Okay, so... Uh, and by the way, we have a show. Yes. Here this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday at 8 p.m., Actors Theater, and you can get tickets on brownpapertickets.com. And we'll be performing, we'll be doing an improvised Shakespeare, an improvised musical, some other scenes and stuff. So come on down and have fun. Yeah, we don't know what it's going to be because it's improv and we really need an audience. There's a lot of audience participation, so come on down, it'll be a blast. Okay, so. And are you guys off book yet? We are off book. And in fact, now I'm going to have you guys pr help participate in this next scene that we're going to be doing for you. Okay. Well, um, as you know, we're going to be rehearsing our play today. It's a brand new play that has just been written, and in fact, I can't even remember the title of it, so I need one of you to tell me, um, what is the title of that play that we're reading that's never been read before? Anything you can think of. The Old Woman and the New Cow. The Old Woman and the New Cow, that's right. That's what we're rehearsing. Okay, so my actors here shall be um, rehearsing. Their, this is their first time off book. Okay, so you're going to be the prompters. I'm going to give you the script. So there's your script, and here's your script. Thank you. So when Todd comes to you uh, for a line, because sometimes he can't remember them all, you're just going to read a line from your script there to Got help it. him out to prompt. And then when Suzanne comes to you, you'll just read a line to prompt her as well. Okay? Um, very well. So actors, um, let's take it, let's say, from the top of Act 2. Act 2? Okay. Yes. Um, where the old woman comes in and finds something suspicious happening in the barn. Oh, I got I got to prepare for this one, I'm sorry. Jeremy, I see you found your uncle's toolbox. Yeah, I found it with all his tools. Just like he left them. Nothing's moved. Nothing's moved. Sorry, line. From yesterday when I last saw them. Nothing's moved from yesterday when I last saw them. Of course not. Nothing's moved. I didn't touch them. Nothing ever moves around here. Well. I don't move. You don't move. The cow doesn't move. <laughs> I'm sorry. How does that speech start again? Um, I think you're overreacting. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. Stuff moves all the time. 
we may be stuck out here with the cows, but, but the cows go roam around and eat. And we walk around, we're moving. You're right, you're right. We're moving like the sky, like the earth, like the planets above. We're moving like the very... So, Mr. Whitten, what I... Like the... Like, sorry, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Like the very space, but I need to talk to you about our marriage. We're moving like the very space, but I need to talk to you about the marriage. Carrie, marriage. Oh. It's time. Bessie's getting old. I want to leave. I want to. I'm sorry, what was that again? I've had it with you. You're too overbearing. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I've had it with you. You're too overbearing. Leave me alone. I can't leave you alone. Your uncle put it in his will that you will marry Bessie. And by God, if it's the last thing I do, I will see you marry that cow. Okay, She's great. a cow. Oh, great. Now, now, this is your Oscar-winning speech here, so really get into it, Bill, okay? Uh, and, and we're going to start right with the line, uh, right there down the middle of the page. There's another cow I'm interested in, though. <laughs> There's another cow I'm interested in. <gasps> Bart. I've been milking that cow for 12 years now. And every year I feel a little bit closer and a little bit more tender with him. And every year, I know that it's going to be the year that we're going to finally get married, but I knew that Paul wouldn't let us. And Paul, he just keeps being in my head. You have to marry Bessie. Jeffrey, you can't marry Bart the cow. Bart, Bart has no testicles. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you, but I... They've been sold in Watsonville for a horrible <laughs> festival. They've been sold in Watsonville for that horrible festival. <laughs> Not Watsonville, again. They've taken all the cow testicles. Why, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna show them something. I'm gonna go down to Watsonville and I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna do something. I'm sorry, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my big hands, find the nearest cowboy and strangle his balls. <laughs> I'm gonna take my big hands and I'm gonna find the nearest cowboy and I'm gonna strangle his testicles. <gasps> Yes, exactly. Excellent. Great job, actors. Set the house free. Whew. And see. Thank you, prompters. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Woo. So, somehow, So What TV is now a show about testicles. <laughs> I knew when uh, we were sitting Ladies and gentlemen, um, G. Young. <laughs>